Hello, I'm Austin Lott with Water Rate Pal. Uh, here with our fifth and final basketball training session. Uh, today's session will be led by Christian Fopson and Kenton Facey, both former UConn alumni and both play freshman bas professional basketball overseas in uh, France and Portugal. Um, right now we're going to do some form shooting. Um, with this you can do two hand variation and one hand variation. Uh, the one hand variation is for the older kids a little bit more experienced. The two hand is for younger kids that might not be strong enough to get it to the hoop. Um, so we're going to come to this basket, go like this. For the older people, we'll do one hand, start underneath the hoop, go like this. Two. For the younger kids, there's a two-handed variation. You just put your ball, uh, hand on the side of the ball. Same thing, go down, straight up. Um, so with form shooting, you want to put your right foot in the center of the basket. Line up your right hand if you're a righty to the center of the hoop. If you're a left-handed person, put your left hand to the center of the hoop. You want to square your hip, up, uh, hip ups, hand underneath the ball, elbow tucked in, and then push it up, straight up. Don't push forward. Make sure that your hand is going with an upward motion. And follow through. Don't shorthand it. Make sure you're following through every time. Oh, make sure that you bend your knees as well, because that'll get the power to get the ball up over the rim. After you make 10 of the short ones, make sure you take a step back and do the same thing over again, keeping the same form. As you move further back, you might want to use your legs a little bit more just to get the ball over the rim. But every time you make 10, make sure you take a step back until you go to the free throw line. That's the furthest back you go. Do one, do one make and you're good. Bang. All right, so the next drill we're going to do is called the Mikens. It's uh, essential for players that are trying to finish inside, whether you're a guard or a big. It's something to make sure you master so you're able to make layups. So for right now, this is the, this is the normal way that everyone does it, where he just goes and tries to make 10 in a row, going from uh, right to left, alternating each side on each make. As you go, you also want to keep the ball high so the guards won't come down and strip it for a big. And as for a guard, that gets the bigs off balance more. So that was one variation. For the second variation, we'll do reverse. It's essentially the same footwork. As we gradually uh, add more variations, you'll see the difference as far as footwork and finishes. There you go. Two. Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so that's the first two variations for the first series of the Mikens drill. For the second uh, variation, we'll go same hand, same leg. When you alternate, same hand, same leg. There you go. Still keeping the ball high as to avoid the defenders. All right, so now we'll do the same thing, reverse. Same footwork as you just did forward. There you go. Still try to focus on keeping the ball high, try to grab it as it's coming out of the net. All right, so we go back to the first set of footwork where it's your alternating side, you're going left foot, right hand, but this time instead of using the glass to get that spin, you're going to go right over the side of the basket. And keep the ball high at all times. There you go. Got you. Then the same thing reverse, same footwork, 
same finish over the side of the uh, over the front the side of the basket. So the same thing you just did but reverse. Okay. Get in there. All right. So as you can see, there are a lot of variations. You can mix it up as you please. The uh, main idea is to be able to finish, get your touch, get your feel for the basket, the glass, see what type of spin you need to put on the ball so it goes in. You can mix up your footwork, finish right, left, left, right, same hand, same leg. It doesn't matter just as long as you're focused on figuring out the best way or the most efficient way to score the basketball from making a layup. So for this drill, we're going to work on coming across the down screen. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to have a ball. You're going to start um, underneath the basket or at the block uh, area and you're going to dribble the ball around the cone. Once you dribble it around the cone, the chair, or whatever you have there to mark that spot on the court, you're going to take a dribble. You're going to go right, left, and finish on the right side of the hoop. So it's going to look like this. You're going to grab it, dribble, 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 right, left, and you're going to finish on the right side of the hoop. Dunk this last one. So to keep in mind when you're doing this, you want to go on the outside of the chair. So when you cut around it, you want to be on the outside like where Kenton's going. You're going to take that one dribble, right, left, go up. You don't want to be on the inside. You want to make sure you're going around the chair or whatever's there. So another variation of this uh, is the same exact movements, but you're going to use your right foot and you're going to do a reverse finish with your left hand. So you're going to go around the chair just like with the other time, but you're going to take that dribble, you're going to use your right foot, and you're going to use your left hand to finish on the right side of the hoop. The last variation for this side is going to be right hand, right foot. Um, so you're going to do the same exact motion as the former, uh, the other two variations of this, except you're going to take the dribble, you're going to use your left foot, right foot, and you're going to finish with your right hand on the right side of the glass. Make sure when you're coming around that chair that you're staying low. You don't want to be upright, you want to be close to the ground. So this is just the other side of the basket, but it's the same exact motion. So Kenton's going to go around the chair, use, jump off his right foot, and use his left hand. It's a normal layup. You're just coming around the chair. Make sure you're coming off tight. All right, so the second variation on this other side, just like the other, uh, the other side, is right foot, right hand. So he's going to come around the chair, take that step, jump off his right foot and finish with his right hand reversing on the other side of the hoop. Make sure you're keeping the ball high and coming around that chair nice and tight. This last variation is going to be same hand, same leg. So he's going to be jumping off his left foot and finishing with his left hand on the left side of the basket. Keep in mind, you want to keep the ball high. You don't want this help side defender swiping down. So when you come off that chair, try to chin it as much as you can, jumping off that left foot and finishing as high as you can. All right, so the next drill is rebounding. Essential to the game of basketball. The position doesn't stop until you get the defensive rebound. So for this drill, we'll have two people. We'll also show you a different variation. If you're by yourself, you could simulate something similar. So we'll have a shooter and myself, I would be the uh, rebounder in this case. So what you want to do is, on the release, you want to get contact, use your outside hand to swim over, use your lower body to get on the leg, and drive this player back so you create space so you can go get the rebound. All right. All right, so this variation is if you have no one to work with as far as rebounding the basketball, you can do it by yourself. You just find a surface like 
a wall or something like that. And uh, the way we're gonna explain it or demonstrate it is you hit, turn, and then drive with your lower body to get the player out of there so you create space to go rebound the basketball. So now we hit, turn, drive. Boom, there you go. Hit, turn, drive. And like that, you could do that by yourself. If you have someone to help you out, that's great. You could do the first variation. If not, you could do this one. Hit, turn, drive. So now we're gonna work on some passes. The first pass we'll, we'll work on is the, you take a step forward, bounce pass to your partner. You could alternate legs, step with your left, step with your right. Just make sure you deliver a firm, strong bounce pass. And this is with two hands. All right, so the next one is a chest pass. So you're essentially going from your chest to your partner's chest. Two hands, flip when you finish. Your, both your thumbs should be pointing down. Your other fingers should be pointing forward. So you want to finish like this. Both hands, your thumbs pointing down. Other four fingers are pointing forward. You also take a step, get some more power, get some more distance under that pass, snap it, thumbs down. To work on it, you could alternate footwork, left, right, whichever you wanna step with first. All right, so our next pass is a one-handed bounce pass. You could use that in different aspects of the game where Let's say you're on the wing and you're trying to pass the ball into the post. You want to pass fake, step around the defender. One hand bounce pass, wrap around. You can go the other way, left hand. All right, so if you don't have a partner that you can work with, you can use the wall. We'll demonstrate on uh, the wall right here. So we'll go first, the bounce pass to the wall. It comes right, should come right back to you. Alternate legs, so you step with your left, step with your right. It's essentially the same thing. The wall is gonna make sure the ball comes back to you if you're doing it correctly. Firm, strong pass, it'll always come back to you. Okay, so now we go to the chest pass. It's gonna be a little bit of a different angle coming back because you're going from your chest, going angle a little bit down. So don't worry about as far as the ball coming back to you, to your chest. Just worry about you making that pass properly with the correct form, with your thumbs pointing down, your fingers pointing forward, and you'll be all right. All right there you go. So that's just like feeding the post. You pass fake, one direction, left, right, pass the other way. You just step around the defender, wrap around with one hand. That's good. All right, that's cool. Now we're good.